In this question, we have a 3 kilogram block sliding at a constant velocity of uh, 7 meters per second along a horizontal surface. Then all of a sudden it hits this 2 meter section, which they tell us is rough, meaning there's friction, and it experiences a frictional force of 30 newtons. Okay, so the friction along this section is 30 newtons. And then eventually it's going to reach the slope. And once it goes up the slope, they say that the ramp, sorry, is frictionless. And it's going to keep going up, keep going up, and eventually it's going to come to a stop. So it's going to stop over here. And we'll say here, no friction, just to remind ourselves. Solves. So in 5.1, it says, show by calculation that the speed of the block at the bottom of the ramp is 3 meters per second. So remember that in grade 12 energy calculations, we can use formulas uh, WNC or you can use WNET. And so, and, and then what I've explained in previous videos is that the only thing that you are not able to do is to use this formula when you are on a curved surface. Besides that, any of them work. Okay, so you can use any of these, whichever one you are comfortable with. So I think, hmm, let's flip a coin, heads, tails, tails. I'm going to go with this one over here. Okay, it doesn't really matter. They both give you the same answer at the end of the day. And so I'm going to say W net equals to delta EK. Now, I'm going to do a free body diagram quickly of the object while it is moving in this section over here. Now, the only thing acting on it in the horizontal direction is friction. Some people tell me, they're like, yeah, but Kevin, isn't there also an applied force? No, there isn't, guys. Maybe someone was pushing it over here, and that's how it had a velocity of 7. But then that person obviously lets go or something like that, because they don't mention any applied forces over here. So there's no applied force. There's only friction, so we should expect it to slow down. There's the normal force, and there's gravity. All right, so the only forces that we really need to consider in the W net would be uh, the friction, right? Okay, so what we can say then is that W of the friction is equal to delta EK. Now remember that the formula for work goes like this. So we are gonna use that formula for this now. And so we're going to say the force of friction multiplied by delta x multiplied by cos theta equals to delta ek. Now the force of friction they told us in that area was 30 newtons. The distance that we are moving is 2 meters. And if we're moving to the right, friction is acting to the left. So that means we're going to say cos of 180. Now the change in the velocity, or well, the change in the kinetic energy, sorry, is a half, because remember kinetic energy is a half mv squared. So I'm going to say a half, now the mass is 3, the final velocity we don't know, the initial velocity is 7. Now we just go ahead and type everything in, so this will be negative 60 equals to 1.5 v squared minus 73.5, you take the 73.5 over, 0.5, and then you divide that by 1.5. Oh, it gives us a very nice value. V squared is equal to uh, 9. And then if you take the square root, V is equal to 3 meters per second. Okay. Oh, and that's what they said. They said show that it's equal to 3 meters per second. Okay, so that makes sense. So moving on to 5.2 now. They said draw a free body diagram to show all the forces acting on the block in a direction parallel to the incline while the block is sliding up the ramp. Okay, so that's quite an interesting one. So the, on, a, on a normal slope, we would have had normal force. There's no applied force. There is, is there friction? What did they tell us? Uh, oh, they said no friction. So there's no friction, but there is a gravity parallel. And then there's also gravity perpendicular. But now what's weird about this one is they say, draw a free body diagram to show all the forces acting on the block in a direction parallel to the incline. So that technically means we're only going to show the FG parallel like that. It says calculate the distance that the block slides up the ramp. So just to put you guys at ease, because we are on a straight line or a, sur a straight surface, there's no curve, you are able to use this formula, or I mean this formula, you can always use it, or you can use W net equals to change in EK. Remember the only thing you can't do is use this when you are on a curve.
that you mustn't. So I'm gonna use this one again, just cause I can tell that it's gonna be a little bit easier. And so W net, the only forces we're gonna really consider would be parallel. So we're gonna say W gravity parallel is equal to change in EK. Cause that's all that there is for W net, right? And then remember that the formula for work is F delta X cos theta. And so that's gonna end up giving us F G parallel delta X cos theta equals to a half MV squared. That's your final minus half MV initial squared. And so FG parallel is, we must remember that FG parallel is equal to MG sin of theta. So that's gonna give us three, let me make a bit more space here, three multiplied by 9.8, multiplied by the sin of the angle 20, that's FG parallel. Now the distance up the slope is D, now, if you're moving up the slope, parallel gravity is acting down the slope, so that's 180, so you take cos 180, equals to a half. Now, the mass, the final velocity is zero, because they said that it's going to stop minus a half, three times the initial velocity up before the slope is three meters per second, or at the bottom of the slope. By the way, a lot of students forget these twos, so just look out for that. All right, and then what I did on the left here is I typed in these numbers, all of these numbers on the calculator, and then obviously there's still that D, so it's gonna become minus 10.0553 uh, D. And then on the right-hand side, if you type all of that in, that's gonna become negative 13.5. You then divide 13.5 by the 10.0553. And what you would find is that D is gonna be equal to 1.34 meters.